Hello everyone, welcome back to another video and if you saw last video we looked at how to install Votifier which is a plugin that allows you to configure voting to offer rewards and different um, configurations for voting on your server. Now we didn't actually look at how you can get the rewards to your players for voting and that's what this video is going to be about. So we're going to be using a plugin called Simple Vote Listener. This allows you to configure and decide how people can be rewarded if they vote for your server. There's plenty of plugins like this, there's one called Give Anything Listener as well but this is the one that I'm going to be using today. And it's a very easy to configure plugin as you can see below the config file it's very easy to understand with lots of comments and help you guys when you need it so what we're going to go ahead and do is first install the plugin so we're just going to press download and download the plugin and then we're going to upload it into our plugins folder and then restart the server once ahead we're going to done that then we can get into configuring the plugin so i'm going to go ahead and upload it now and so as you can see I've gone ahead and just quickly uploaded it and now the last thing to do is actually just to quickly do a server restart and then we can get into configuring the plugin and show you how to do it. Now one thing to note is when you try to configure items there is a specific syntax you can see that it's all in capitals there and there's different ways you can do it. So the way you need to look at this is there's a massive list of different items you can use you may have to use them like this as this is um, Spigot's API and how it actually defines items so you're gonna have to look through here for the different items if you want a specific thing they're quite easy to find you can you go ahead and use control F and if I wanted a diamond for example I can go ahead and just search for diamond and you I would just use this here this is the one that I'd be using and copying into the config folder and then that way I can actually configure the plugin so I'll be back once the server is restarted and we can start configuring our rewards so as you can see this has now gone ahead and restarted and now before we finally go into configuring the plugin there's a few things we want to be able to note we can see down here there is a list of uh, different placeholders we can use for the different messages at the top so depending on what you want the message say you can use these placeholders just put them in and the plugin is going to go ahead and replace all of them automatically for you now the second thing to note is when using items you can see this one up here called item data value amount now what this allows you to do is specify an item like using the material list and change its data value afterwards so for example in this case it's wool this will change the color of the wool so you can check this by using the site i'll leave a link in the description and you can see 35 6 the 6 represents pink wool so that's a different color that of wool that they are going to be given so let's go into configuring this plugin we're going to head into files and then we're going to go into plugins after plugins we're going to find simple vote listener and then simple vote listener dot yml and this is where we're going to be begin understanding and configuring our different rewards so you, as you can see there's a list of different commands that you can give people so this is saying for when someone's offline they can log in and this is what they get if the player is online this is what they're going to be given as well but there's more configurations options that we can offer so what we're going to head over is head over to this different plugin and we can have a look at the different options that we can actually use as you can see there's a player awards section down here that we're just going to copy and paste into our plugin file if we run down here you can see that when someone votes this is what they're going to be given so what we want is money now money requires you to install a plugin called vault vault is an economy manager and it's a really good way of managing your economy on your server so you must have this installed for the money to work so i'm going to go ahead and change this to a thousand now for permissions if someone votes and you want them to have a specific permission afterwards you can actually go ahead and give it to them the next thing you can do is obviously give them some items you can see here there's different items that you can give them depending on what you want and there's different ways to do that which we'll have a look at in a second. Now the last thing you can do is run commands so if you wanted someone to be teleported somewhere that means that then you're able to teleport them to a specific place. 
the next thing we can have a look at is service messages so if we go down here and we go to specific under the specific tab there's a option called service so what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and copy this as well if I go ahead and copy this we want this to be at the bottom and away as it's a different entire block as a specific section so we can add a service and this for different services we can have different sites so the first site that they've given as an example is planet minecraft and again i'm just going to change the money to a thousand and i'm going to give them actually five diamonds by changing the number afterwards configures how many they get of each and you can see that now that's going to go ahead if they would vote on planet minecraft this is the rewards that they would go ahead and get to add another site you will all you need to do is just press enter and go back to here and add the new site here so minecraftservers.org all the different services you may be using that is one way we can configure voting the next way we can do is using permissions which is an odd way to configure voting but some of you may find it useful so again i'm going to go ahead and copy this in and again for this one i'm going to press space two times and make sure that it's in the same line of service otherwise it will not work so for service you can now decide what you want so this means for a specific mission they will get a specific reward so if you were to type here skynode.vote if someone had that permission or you gave them in that your plugin now it doesn't have to be a permission given by a plugin it can be your own permission this is the rewards they're getting ahead and going to receive and there's now one final way we can configure voting and this is by the number of votes given to a person so we can configure if they're voted a lot of times how many rewards they get or if they get a little added bonus so once again i'm going to go ahead and copy this into my um, config file and i'm going to again double press space as that's where it needs to be and you can see for 100 votes this is the rewards they're going to go ahead and give and i'm going to give them all 1000 so once you've gone ahead and done that you're going to want to save the file and press return now we don't need to restart the server here as the plugin comes with a reload command that we can just go ahead and type and we just do svl reload and this has gone ahead and reloaded the config so now what we're going to do is we're going to like we did in the previous video set up a test site so if i was to head over to minecraftservers.org which is the plugin and um, system we were using in the last video and i go to log in quickly what i can do is i can begin to set up the video and what this is going to do is allow me to log in so i'll be back once i've logged into this and got everything set up so again very quickly we're just going to enable votify here so we can send a test vote to our server so again just for your ip you want to head to the server details page and copy the ip to your server without a port the port is the thing after the colon and we don't want that here it will be four numbers with a dot in between the next thing we're going to go ahead is look at the port we used which was 4433 in the last video so we're going to go ahead and type that and one final thing we need is the photofire public key you can get this by going to files plugins followed by photofire followed by rsa and then finally public.key now you don't want to give this to anyone as it can be very dangerous and people can actually vote as many times as they want and get unlimited rewards so once you've done that and you've copied that in there we can go ahead and send a test vote we're just going to head back to the console so we can see it appear in console and see what happens so i'm going to go ahead and press send vote and as you can see we can see that it's been voted from microsoft.org with an address and everything has run perfectly and you can see it even run the broadcast so there you go this is how to set up simple vote listener and thank you guys for watching and we'll see you guys in the next video